Welcome back to another Curly Girl video. I am showing you guys exactly what I do from beginning to end. And I always start my curly hair routine by brushing out my curls. I love brushing out my hair. I know some people don't, but I personally have to get all of that dead hair out. And so I brush it really, really well. And it gets super crazy, as you guys can see. The frizz is real. I look so crazy. I can't even handle myself sometimes. Um, but that is what my hair looks like. And then I get my hair wet in the bathtub. And then I apply my Olaplex number three. This stuff, I am not kidding you, is something that I swear by. I only wash my hair once a week. And um, I do this treatment every week. And it has made my hair feel so amazing when you wash it out. So you only have to um, keep this in for 10 minutes. Sometimes I keep it in for a half an hour, um, longer. It depends, but most of the time I at least leave it in at least 10 minutes. But you leave it and then you rinse it out. And oh my gosh, your hair will thank you. It's so amazing. So here I am just rinsing out my Olaplex. And it takes a little bit to... Um, rinse out but then I use my surface awaken shampoo I get this from my hairdresser and I shampoo my hair twice so my first time I feel like I don't get that many suds and like scrubbing my head really well just because I have so much product in my hair so I wash it and then I rewash it and that shampoo I just showed you guys was the basu moisture so I have one like really minty fresh clean shampoo and then I wash it with a moisturizing shampoo which my hair has been really liking and then I wash my hair again with this purple shampoo I do get my hair highlighted and we have well water and so my hair can get super brassy and so I use this purple shampoo you leave it in for like five minutes and then wash it out and then I just take the Basu conditioner, or not the Basu, it's actually the Awaken conditioner. It's very minty, very, it makes your head tingle. I love it so much. Just don't get it in your eyes because it hurts, hurts, hurts. But I've been doing this thing with my conditioner where I'll flip my head upside down and taking a wide tooth comb and just brushing it out. And then um, I scrunch the shampoo into my hair and I do it while I'm in the water stream you can kind of see I get my hair wet and then I scrunch and I feel like this really helps get that conditioner into your hair and I do this twice actually so I do it for a little bit add a little bit more conditioner and really scrunch it in I use a lot of conditioner but I do rinse all my conditioner out I don't let any of it stay I just feel like if I you if I let some of it, I used to do that. I used to let some of my sh conditioner stay in my hair, and I've just noticed that um, my hair feels super weighted down. So I rinse it all out, and then once I rinse it out, I do my hair flip again, and scrunch my hair, and then I get everything ready for my product. So I first am applying this surface. Um, it's like a leave-in moisture conditioner, and then. And Olap the Olaplex number six and that is um, for your ends and I just put it all the way on my ends and then I use my wide tooth comb again and I scrunch that into my hair and I have been loving doing all my hair um, application with soaking wet hair so even if my hair is really wet I do have a spray bottle of water that I will apply and then I'm using my curl cream which is just the curl talk I really, really like this curl cream. It doesn't weigh my hair down at all. It feels super light, and I just feel like it really helps define those curls. And I do this in layers. So I start at the bottom, and then I do, it's pretty much like three layers. So bottom, middle, and then the top part of my head. I have um, very side-swept hair um, and bangs, if that even makes sense. And so the top part of my hair is very layered so I have to do this in sections.
right, now for the gel, which I have been using the Curl Talk Twist and Lock Gel, which is honestly one of my all-time favorites. This one, I will link everything below too, but this one is like $4 and lasts me so long and it is the best. I love it for my hair. And then I've been using the Kinky Custard, I think it's called. And I like the mix of them too. So I start with the twist and lock and I do that in sections. And as you can see, I do the praying hands. So I start from the very top of the root, all, which I always get made fun of for saying root, but the root, look at a brand new twist and lock gel. Um, anyway, back to what I'm talk talking about. Um, all the way up from the top, all the way to the bottom, I do the praying hands, so I get my hair really casted in that gel, and that makes that really good cast, where when it dries, it looks kind of wet, and then you can scrunch that out. So that's what I do with the twist and lock, and then I take the kinky, kinky custard, and I will just apply that all the way through my hair. I don't do it in sections or anything. I just take it and you'll see me grab it and put it in um, my hair straight from like no layers or anything. This kinky custard I have noticed too and it says on the bottle that it's better for your hair to be like sopping wet when applying this. So I really try to make sure that my hair is very very wet when applying this and then the very last um, step that I use is the curl talk mousse and I absolutely love that stuff um, it makes my hair somehow I feel like it makes my hair curlier so I just use a little bit and I apply it all the way through my head I don't do um, layers with that either but that is one thing that I cannot live without is that mousse it is amazing Next step is taking my perfect hair care towel and I just soak up a lot of that product that I just put in. It just helps kind of define those curls and also makes my hair not as sopping wet. You can see when I use it that it just really, kiss, Ethan just came home. Um, it defines the curls and I think just helping it dry a little bit more is what I needed. And today actually when I was filming this, I blow dried my roots because I could not, I had a lot of stuff to do and I couldn't wait for my hair to dry. Sometimes it takes my hair like seven to eight hours to dry just because there's so much of it and it's very heavy and so I started by hover blow drying around my roots and I do this when I need a speed up in my hair I also do diffuse my hair but it's I just do that very randomly and I will blow dry my hair maybe 80% dry but I always start by my roots first and just kind of hovering around so I don't get too much frizz Okay, you guys, um, my hair is totally dry, so I am going to scrunch out my crunchy hair. Crispy, crunchy curls. It looks like my hair is still wet, but I can feel that my hair is dry now. So first, I'm going to take a little bit of this basu oil that I accidentally sprayed a little bit on the floor, and I'm going to scrunch out some of this crunchy, crunchy curls. Then I'm going to take my perfect hair care towel. Definitely getting this crunchy gel out. Takes a little bit to get the gel out, but once it's out, it's definitely worth it and your hair will stay curly and it won't have that like frizz. It'll just hold that curl. I'm gonna be as low. 
we were just swimming in my neighbor's pool and the bear gets low a lot when she is swimming. We sometimes just pause her insulin because it just gets so, she gets so low. Um, got a little bit left. And then take my hands and I kind of shake at my roots because sometimes I've noticed that if I don't like shake my roots it won't get super I won't get a lot of volume at the top of my head and that's where I, I can get a lot of volume here but I really want it at my roots so Here we go. Looks like a good curl day for me. <laughs> Sometimes I swear you guys, like I do cur my curls a lot of the time. I probably do it. I mean, I straighten my hair maybe once a month, once every other month, and sometimes you get a good curl day and sometimes you just get like not a great curl day. So you can feel it's a little crispy jelly here. You wanna shake all that gel out. <laughs> Your hair will look bouncy if you get all that gel out and it just looks soft not crunchy like it's like you can touch it but trust me you don't want to touch it too much <laughs> okay i'm taking some more of that basu oil and this oil is amazing it's just so light and it doesn't weigh your hair down at all but it helps with the frizz and i just kind of like to rub it all over So here's the back of my hair. I never know what the back of my hair looks like until I see a video. I'm like, oh, there it is. And then my other side. And I flip the top of my hair over all the time, just this part of my hair, and I just kind of flop it, but. Turned out pretty good so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful at all give it a thumbs up if you liked it also follow me on instagram for more random tips and tricks for curly hair makeup i hope you guys liked it and i'll see you in my next curly girl video